Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified with my latest update. Hey learners, welcome back to my another video. Today we are going to see different methods of training. So let's start today's video. Nowadays training has become the core need of any organization to develop specific skills in their existing employee. There are two methods for imparting training in workers which are on the job training and off the job training. As the name suggests, on the job training is a training where employees are provided training at workplace at job location whereas off the training is a training where employees are provided training away from the job place or people are provided training um, not uh, at the place where they are really doing the work or near the organization they are performing it other than the real job location on the job training is provided at the workplace the trainees produce things while learning whereas in off the job training the trainees are away from the work environment that eliminates stress, frustration and bustle of day-to-day -day job. The main aim of on-the-job training is to make the employees familiar with the normal working situation. That is, during the training period, the employees will get the first-hand experience of using machinery, equipment, tools, materials, etc. It also helped the employees to learn how to face the challenges that occur during performance of the actual work. In this training method, trainees are learning by doing the actual work in presence of superior or experienced employees, which are there to demonstrate the trainees how to perform a particular task and help them if they need any help. The trainees follow the instruction of their superior and perform the task. Due to the simplicity, this method highly used by the firms to train the current or future employees. In off-the-job training method, trainees are provided training away from their actual workplace for a particular period. The reason behind this training is to provide a, a stress-free location or a place where they can uh, concentrate, their, uh, where they can focus without any fear, without any stress and they can learn. Study material is supplied to the trainees for complete uh, theoretical knowledge. The trainees are free to express their views, opinions during the training session. Moreover, they can explore new and innovative ideas. It is one of the expensive training methods. It involves selection of the place of training, the arrangement of facilities for the workers, hiring an expert to provide them the training. Under on-the-job training method, we can see coaching, mentoring, job rotation, job instruction technology, apprenticeship, understudy. Now let us see all this in detail. Coaching. Coaching is a one-to-one -one training. It helps in quickly identifying the weak areas and tries to focus on them. It also offers the benefit of transferring theory learning to practice. Second, we have mentoring. The focus in this training is on the development of attitude of trainees. This is also like coaching where one-to-one -one interaction is given where one mentor or where uh, employer or trainer provide uh, training to uh, directly to the trainees through one-to-one -one interaction. Third, we have job rotation. It is a process of training where employers are provided training by rotating them through a series of related jobs. Rotation not only makes a person well qualified with different jobs or make them trained in different jobs, but it also helps them to allow to develop uh, new skills, new knowledge and help them to get information about different different jobs. Fourth, we have job instructions. 
It is also known as step by step training in which a trainer explains the way of doing a particular job to the trainee and in case uh, if the trainee have any mistakes they try to correct it they try to uh, tell them how to solve that mistake how to correct that uh, mistake and trainee get the answers for their questions or queries next we have apprenticeship apprenticeship is a system of training a new generation of trainees for enhancing their skill it is a training method in which a long period is required for gaining excellence in any particular job in this training method trainees are working very hard under the supervision of their master or trainer the objective of such training is to make the trainees all around craftsmen to make them full of skills to enhance their skills and make them very efficient in particular job next we have understudy in this method a superior gives training to a subordinate as his understudy like an assistant to a manager or director the subordinate learns through experience and observation they try to uh, learn things by observing their superior and they make their efficiency more by uh, just watching and learning from what their superior are doing under of the job training we have lecture and conferences vestibule training we have simulation exercises case study management games we have role playing in basket training sensitivity training transactional analysis so let us see all these in detail first we have lectures and conferences lectures and conferences are the traditional and direct method of instructing any employee or any trainer Every training program starts with lecture and conferences. It's the verbal presentation given to the trainee or audience. However, the lectures have to be motivating and should create interest among trainees. Next we have vestibule training. In vestibule training, the workers are trained in a prototype environment on specific job. in a special part of the organization or plant in this training method an attempt is made to create working condition similar to the actual workshop conditions after training workers in such condition the trained workers may be put on similar jobs in the actual workshop next we have simulation exercises simulation is any artificial environment exactly similar to the actual situation there are four basic simulation techniques used for training any trainee such as management games case study role playing and in basket training management games according to this method the trainees are divided into groups and each group has to discuss about various activities and functions of an imaginary organization they will discuss and decide about various subjects like production promotion pricing etc this gives result in cooperative decision making process case study usually case study deals with any problem faced by business which can be solved by an employee the trainee is given an opportunity to analyze the case and come up with their own ideas or come up with all possible solutions this method can enhance analytical and critical thinking of an employee role playing in this case uh, one employee is asked to assume the role of a particular person in a situation the participant interacts with each other assuming different roles the whole play will be recorded and trainee will get the opportunity to examine their own performance in basket method the employer given information about an imaginary company its activities and uh, products hr employed and 
all data related to that firm. The trainee has to make notes, delegate tasks and prepare schedules within a specific time. This can develop situational judgments and quick decision making skills among trainee. Next we have sensitivity training. Sensitivity training is also known as laboratory or T group training. Sensitivity training focus on making employees aware of their attitudes and behavior toward others. This includes people who are different in race, color, gender, religion, ability, age, etc. Next we have transactional analysis. Many people use transactional analysis for their own personal growth and development, for maintaining their interest and growth through workshop, conferences and so on. So here we have seen different methods of training. I hope you like the video. If yes, then don't forget to give a thumb up and subscribe the channel to get notified with my latest update. See you soon with some more interesting videos like this in our another video. Till then, have a nice day. Thank you.